I am going to replace this GPIO salad by this GPIO expander board. Home automation, the next part. This time I'm also using the DIN rail, Raspberry Pi, and I added four new cables to the GPIO connector and I added these clamps where I can add a cable to it and these four uh, cables are the I2C bus so I'm using the I2C bus to communicate with my house okay this is the other part of the I2C bus it is a 8 uh, pin GPIO connector with pull up so I will power the servo board with that. This is the phone wire I'm talking from. It also has a red and a black cable and then it has yellow and white and I'm using yellow for the clock and white for the data. This goes downstairs to my receiver. This is the other end of my I2C bus and it ends in this magic box. This is how it looks like. I removed all these cables that go out to single GPIO pins and added this GPIO expander board and it's now these 10 cables, 8 GPIO pins, VCC and ground and this is actually connected to my home, to, to my house I2C bus. This is these four clamps are going to the telephone cable. The telephone cable is there and it's, this is my bus. And yeah, the other end of the VCC, uh, of the expander board I'm using for the power supply for the relay card. And now I can take out my smartphone and can say light. On. On. Off. And off. Yeah. So, my house is now connected to the I2C bus. Now in the end, this is the servo uh, box going to via I2C bus to my DIN rail and this Raspberry Pi is left with the doorbell which I will replace in the next video.